Hey everyone, welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review video guys. Today guys, I have a 2016 set review guys. The set is 75152. It, um, it's called the Imperial Assault, Imperial Assault Hover Tank. It came out September 30th of 2016 and retired December 31st of 2017. Guys, the set retail for $30 USD or $40 Canadian. However though, if you guys want the set new in the box, you're going to be paying like around $116 new or $73 Canadian. And the reason why you guys this set came out on a pretty awkward day being September 30th of 2016, that's because this set guys released for Rogue One that came out in like I think like around Christmas that year. Kind of crazy to think how that was already almost, how that was already almost 8 years ago, it's kind of crazy to think. Yeah, so, but... Yeah, guys, so this is, again, like, I try to rebuild my own version of here. I think I did pretty good, or probably did okay on this one, I would say, but, yeah. I've got, like, I've only got one. This set came with three minifigures, guys. I've technically still got two, because I tried to rebuild. Um, whatever the other figure was called, I forgot the name. Hold up. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I forgot the name of the other figure. Um, yeah, Chunite Ami. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I tried to rebuild mine because I lost my version of him when I was younger. Really, it's just the, you know. And then on um, the Imperial Hover Tank pods, I um, sold one of mine back in, I think, in, like, 2020, I think. So, I still got one at least, guys. But, yeah, let's take a look at these minifigures to start this review off. Alright, guys, so we're going to start things off here with my Imperial Hover Tank pilot, or the Imperial Hover Tank pilot. So, I did modify the, I don't. Guys, I never modify my stuff. Like, like literally every single set that I've got on my shelf, guys, has never been modified. And every single figure I've got on my shelf, never modified. But this is my only figure here on my shelf that I modified. Just to include a backpack on it. I know it's the Republic logo, but, like, that's all I had. So, yeah, but, like, yeah, the, I do think these are probably some of the best Stormtroopers that came out for the 2016 Rogue One wave. It's still got the angry clone face on, under him, but yeah, it's got the goggles, the got his blaster, and I do really like all the printing on him, and I do think the helmet turned out really good. So yeah, overall a pretty good fig. We got two of them in the set, but I only have one. I'm gonna give this figure an eight out of ten. All right, now here is my uh, kind of like remastered or rebuilt version of Chirrut. Chirrut, I think that's his name. But yeah, like he's kind of like the one of the rebellion guys from Rogue One guys. So don't really know. Like really, all I've got for this guy is really just his hair piece and his crossbow, and that's kind of it. So really, nothing to too, no, nothing too much to go here through here, guys. So it's just there. Okay, so here is my rebuilt Imperial hover tank here, guys, and. I mean, like, I, I'm not too sure if this set had, I'd, like, spring load shooters or anything, guys, so this is kind of just what I've got, pretty much, for it, just a, just a great, pretty much just a, a great thing of junk here, I guess. I guess I'll just call it that. But yeah, we'll start off with the front, the front missiles here, which, like, they do, they don't really move, I, but they don't move, I don't think, in the thing. I'm missing the side cannons on these ones, I... For, I keep forgetting to add them, guys, to it, like, you know, <laughs> but then we've also got a little cart here on the back, which I built out of blocks to kind of reckon, try and recreate that one, I think it's like a weapons box or something, but I've just got it at the back right here, and then I've also got the little lat, I try to recreate the little latch here that um, stormtroopers can peek out of, as well as the gun that's got on here which I mean, like it can probably go as high as it can but i kind of just have it like that and so yeah basically for this guys you just have to sit your minifigure on right there and then he can just peek out and just like it's pretty um this set yeah guys it does um it doesn't have any like wheels or anything under it but like you can um like like um kind of like slide it around your table or your floor does work out pretty good and then we've also got the driver's seat here which you pull down this um this um front latch here to put in your um put in your fucking um uh clone for your fucking storm 
hover tank trooper itch. Oh, you can't do that. I've, I've never really tried this one here. To be honest, but like, yeah, you just put it right there and then, yeah. And then whenever you're playing with it, you can just, I guess, like quickly just open it up, take them out, just put them right there. But yeah, really that part there is just up to your imagination, really. With that, like, you open it up, take your trooper out, put him up there, and just make it look like he just jumped up. Like, he just jumped up, pretty much. You see, yeah, kind of, like, what you can do is, like, your, um, cheer nut guy can just be, like, right here. And then you could fucking, like, switch it around and be like, pew, 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 pew fuck you. I'm kidding. Nah, but... Yeah, but I, I I think though this set might have had spring load shooters, guys, but I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked at it too. I haven't really looked at like mine too much, guys. I like this set, guys, before I just um before I rebuilt it probably like a week ago out or not a week ago, like a year ago I would say. Um I did kind of or I I before like when I first got this set guys back in twenty sixteen it was probably built until like probably like mid mid 2017 until it just kind of like broke in my bin but yeah as that's kind of really it for this set here guys not too too crazy it was but i definitely do think guys this was a really good value for i definitely think though this was a really good value for 40 bucks back in 2016 especially because it was in late 2016 so like that's how the christmas rush was it's like if, if like you're trying to go on a, a cheap budget for your kid Christmas that year guys you could just like a $40 budget then this is like this was like the perfect set here and then like I don't know dude like just 2016 all right well that's what I, really what I got for this set guys and so yeah I think definitely for 30 bucks USD and $40 um Canadian this was a heck of a deal thought this was a really good value guys and definitely probably and this was probably one of the best sets from the Rogue One wave and probably maybe one of the best sets from 2016. I don't know, but guys, like 2016, it was like one of those years for Lego Star Wars where it was like, where it was like a jump and down. Like the the start of it was a huge down, or was a huge fall. We got to the summer is huge fall, May 4th as well, huge fall. But then they get to like that end of the year, guys, where we got the Death Star and um, the Rogue One sets, guys, and they just had a huge jump up with those. Yeah, guys, that's what I've got for this set. I'm going to give this set a solid 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.